Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living or turn worth having. What we know about our environment is that it cannot handle the recycle that we're seeing. When I visit a trash can looking for extra food scraps, really, to feed the birds and to handle the people that need food, what I know is what is safe and what isn't safe during the summer months. What I also know is that companies do need to retrieve the trash a little bit more often during the summer so we don't bring in too many birds in our trash cans where they leave their feces. It also allows us to get rid of roaches and other bugs and whatnot. But some of the most abusers of our trash are the losers in retail restaurant environments that refuse to recycle appropriately. They literally make huge bags, monstrously heavy, that very few employees can pick up in the way of ergonomics that is appropriate and safe. It's surprising that they don't have more lawsuits, but the minute I say that, some little shit who's lying will try to play that at their company. What I'm telling you is you are a derelict to our environment. Your company is immoral if you cannot recycle appropriately. When you have food left over at the end of the day, the first thing you should do is walk out that fucking door and look around you and see if there's anyone impoverished near you. Do not play it to your friends who have tons of money. That is immoral. God knows it and he will not bless your company. What we see every day is a good quality restaurants closing because their employees are screwing around with food. But what they go then to do is collect unemployment and they're the ones who crashed a company. What I see in the Long, Longhorn Steakhouse here locally is an absolute abuse of leftover food. It doesn't really matter if it came off a plate or if it's food that was prepared to be prepared for the day. It ought to be parceled off in 13 gallon trash cans very carefully. Fresh fruits go in a bag. Meats and bones go in a bag. And openly those can be fed to tigers at the zoo for all I care. But when it comes to put breads, those ought to be put in one bag and left alone. When it's come off a plate, it's pretty fucking obvious. If it's a brand bread loaf that can't be used again tomorrow or put in the freezer, then put it in a separate bag. But when it comes to french fries and other shit like that that's potatoes, just take all of that and put it in a bag. That can be fed to just about any type of herbivore in our community that takes care of the bugs. I was absolutely somewhat proud and disgusted as a goose father of my community who feeds regularly with the paltry money I earn some of the geese who are starving to death. But what I was surprised about and pleased to see is that our geese actually eat the beetles that can attack our restaurants and attack our clothing stores. I am proud to say that I now know what they eat. But openly they're not going to eat lettuce, they're not going to eat some sort of cabbages, but all that can go in a bag. If you don't start recycling for your restaurant, then you are derelict in our community and you should no longer be an environment that we eat at. You see, people need to know what people do with the food once it's taken off the plate. And if you've got leftovers to take it home, take it home. Don't try and play it at someone who hasn't eaten. If you want to help someone who you think is not eating or is not having enough money going on in their life, it's pretty straightforward. Buy them a gift card to your favorite restaurant or offer to buy them a meal right there on the spot where they can see the person who makes it, they can see the person who's delivering it through the window, and they can see you handing it to them. But don't make a big stink about, I'm buying this from a home for a homeless person, because you have African Americans, you have Hispanic workers, and you have attitudes of white Americans that say, why are we feeding that person? Let me tell you, motherfucker, you'd rather feed your cat your dog over a human being, and that too is immoral.